Hey, good morning guys, Brandon here with The Average Crypto. And if you follow my channel, if you've seen any of my, my videos, you know that I am very adamant on keeping your crypto safe. And I've talked about what I use, and a lot of people have asked for a tutorial on how to do it. So that's what we're gonna do today. I use a Ledger Wallet. Ledger Wallet keeps my crypto safe, and it can keep your crypto safe too. So we're just gonna go over it and we're we're gonna focus on how to attach your MetaMask to your Ledger Wallet. It's very simple. We're not gonna go over on how to set up the Ledger Wallet itself. That's pretty much self-explanatory. We're just, again, we're just gonna to touch on how to connect your Ledger device to your MetaMask wallet. So first thing you need to, need to do, you need to order a Ledger Wallet. Where do you get that from? You order a Ledger wallet through the Ledger website. Do not use Amazon. Do not use another third-party service. There have been instances where people are selling fake Ledger wallets and stealing your crypto. So please, don't try and, try and save a few bucks by using some other service. Go to ledger.com. Right there. L-E-D-G-E-R.com. Ledger. Um, trust me. It'll be worth its weight in gold once you get it. Uh, actually, I just saw this the other or this morning. The CL card powered by Ledger. That's uh, that's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna put myself on the waiting list. I currently use a Coinbase card for all of my purchases, so being able to access my crypto directly from my Ledger wallet through this would be pretty cool. But anyway, so I use a Ledger Nano X. So you come over here to products, hit Ledger Nano X. Scroll down, and you can see that it is $119. Add it to your cart and buy it. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. Even if you only have a few hundred dollars, even if you only have $50 in crypto, you do not want that to be stolen. It's very easy for people to steal your crypto on MetaMask. There's no 2FA. There's no additional layers of security. Get the MetaMask wallet. All right. Next thing you need to do. Assuming you already have MetaMask installed on your browser, if you don't, it's, again, very simple. We go to MetaMask.io. Click Download. Obviously, I'm using the Chrome browser, so I'm going to install MetaMask for Chrome. I already have MetaMask installed on my Chrome browser. As you can see, I have a default account, and I currently have zero assets in it. Why is that? because I keep everything on my Ledger wallet. I do not keep anything in here. All right, now that we have that done, let's go ahead and set up our wallet. First thing that we need to do is you need to install Ethereum, the Ethereum app on the Ledger Live uh, on, your, on your computer. Again, we're not gonna to touch on that. It's very simple. Once you have it all set up and, and ready to go, it'll ask you, you know, for, for multiple di different uh, different cryptos, install the Ethereum app. You, you have to have Ethereum. So now that we have our Ledger wallet set up and the Ethereum app is installed, uh, actually touch on this, on the, the app, uh, the wallet itself, there are two buttons. You have one on the left, one on the right. So, down, up, and then when you want to confirm a transaction or when you basically want to hit enter, you click both at the same time. It's got a USB-C, so let's go ahead and connect that. It's going to pop up. All right, it's going to ask you to put in your password. As you can see, this is going to be, uh, you can set it between like a four and eight digit password. Again, if you click the button on the right, it moves the, the numbers up. If you move the button on the left, it moves it down. So let's go ahead and put in my password. We're going to do this off camera. All right, password has been set. And you can see we've got the Ethereum app, the Bitcoin app, and so forth. We're going to open up the Ethereum app by clicking both buttons. Let's say application is ready. First thing you need to do, go into settings. You need to enable blind signing. As you can see, mine is already enabled. By default, it's going to show disabled. Click both buttons and it'll be enabled. All right, we're ready to go. We're ready to start trading, or actually, I'm sorry. We are ready to uh, connect our Ledger wallet to MetaMask. So we'll come back over here. I'm gonna 
click up here in this blue and yellow circle where it's and then where it says connect hardware wallet as you can see it's going to give us a couple different options we have a ledger device and again it's very important that the ethereum app is open and running on the ledger wallet if it's not open and running it will not connect hit continue it already knows that there's an nano x we're going to connect it And we're going to get a couple different options, account options. As you can see, I already have some Ethereum in here. Typically for me, it's always been the top one, uh, the top account. So we're going to go ahead and unlock it. And that's it. That's how easy it is to connect a Ledger device to your MetaMask wallet. Now you can see that I am in my account. And we can see all of my assets. We can see some activity there. So we can get out of that now that it's connected. Now let's say we want to go ahead and make uh, make a transaction. Let's say we're going to unstake some time on, on Wonderland or stake some time. So although MetaMask is connected, it still thinks that it's on my old account or the, the, the default account that MetaMask gave me. Remember, we just created a new account on, on our Ledger app. So we need to open up MetaMask. It's going to ask us to connect our ledger device, which we're now going to connect. And lo and behold, there we go. Now we have our balances in Time Wonderland. So let's go over here. Let's say we're going to go ahead and unstake 0.01 time this morning. We're going to unstake it. As you can see on the browser, you're going to have to confirm it here. And also on your ledger app, you're going to have to confirm it. So it's going to say review transaction. It's going to give the address. It's going to give the network we're on, the max fees, and whether we want to accept or reject. We want to accept it. So we're going to hit both buttons. If we go back to our screen here. It's going to show that I have one pending transaction. And we just hang out and we wait for it for a couple seconds because let's be honest, the Avalanche network is fast and it's cheap. There we go. So we're done here. It's gonna say your balance will update soon. Transaction was successfully sent. Just hit the refresh button. I don't want Coinbase wallet. And as you can see, if we open up our MetaMask wallet, in our assets, we now have 0.01 time, which we can then transfer out, sell, whatever we want to do with it. But for stake, uh, or for today, we're going to restake it. We're going to get the same notification. I'm going to confirm it here. And we're going to jump down here. Again, it now says review transaction. Go over, accept and send. So that's it. It is that simple to keep your crypto safe and to connect your Ledger device to your MetaMask wallet. So guys, do me a favor. If you got any value from this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment. It all helps with the YouTube algorithm. But most of all, please guys, keep your crypto safe. You know, we work hard for our money and whether you're doing this for fun, whether you're doing this for, for passive income, whatever it may be. I mean, you could be investing for your future, guys. Keep your crypto safe by the Ledger wallet. Um, I'm not being paid to promote the Ledger wallet or any other device. I just want to educate you on how to keep your crypto safe. So other than that, guys, I hope you have a great day and we'll see each other soon. See ya.